Hey guys, so as you can see, I have a new background. Well, I have a new film spot. I'm actually in my sunroom, so the lighting's really great. Um, new background, it's a lot brighter than that dark purple black background that I had before. So let me know in the comments down below if you like this setup a lot better. Um, I also have a desk right here, which is my workspace to do my nails and stuff that I need to lay stuff out on a table for. So that's really nice. Um, today I am doing a nail video and I was sent, ooh, I was sent a dip kit from a brand called Rossi. And this is the, I believe this is the like trial dip kit. Um, it comes with a base coat, an activator, and a top coat, and then one of these dip powders of your choice. And I got this, which is Honeymoon. So I also got its instructions on how to put them on. I already know how to put it on, but um, if you order this, this will tell you how to apply the dip. You can apply it to your natural nail or like I do, you can put on tips and make them like long. And then on the other side, it tells you how to remove it, which is pretty easy. You just have to soak it for, I think, 10 to 15 minutes. So not bad. So let's jump into this and see what's inside. Okay, so the first thing, they send you extra ones of these, the bristles thingies, um, just in case yours gets, you know, nasty or hard or clumpy or these even pop out. It's great to have these and you get four of them, which is really nice. I could always use those. I do have brush saver, which you just soak these in the brush saver and then they're soft again. So that's really nice. And then it comes with four of these pad things. I guess this is to remove it or to use um, alcohol. I use rubbing alcohol when I'm all done just to wipe everything away. Okay, so that's the first thing. So next is the dip powder. And this is a really big thing of dip powder. This is 18 grams as opposed to the one I showed you in my AliExpress, which is, oh, this is 30 milliliters, one fluid ounce. This says 18 grams, 0.6 ounces, which I don't know if I believe that unless this is only like halfway full. Let's see. No, that's pretty full. A lot, same amount of fullness as this one, I guess. I feel like this is like twice the size of this though. This is pretty big. And this, like I said, is, let me put the lids back on. This is this color right here, Honeymoon. So it's like a corally, orange pinky type color which is really nice so decent sized jar then it comes with the three bottles which is it's pretty well packaged too this is really nice uh, okay first thing is the base coat which, yes. The second is the activator. Okay, so the base coat, and I'm gonna show you how to do these nails after I'm done showing you everything in the kit. Um, the base coat is what you put on to dip it. So you put the base coat on, dip it, let it dry for like a few seconds, put another base coat, dip it, until you get your desi desired thickness. And then 
you put on the activator, which hardens it completely. Then when you're all done, you put on the top coat. Now, I'm not going to use the top coat in this dip kit because I do like gel. So I am going to be using my UV gel and my lamp. And also, not from this kit, I'm going to use my pH prep, which I don't really know what it does, but it works. And then a bond before I put on the base. So the bond helps everything adhere a little bit better. So those are the two things that did not come in my kit that I'm going to be using as well as the top coat. So if you're interested in purchasing any products from this company and they have a whole bunch of nail products, so I suggest you check it out if you're interested in nails um, and it's super affordable. I will provide the link to the website in the description box down below as well as a 20% discount code that you can use at checkout for 20% off your entire order. So that's really cool. So now let's jump into these nails. And yes, I am wearing something different. I forgot to mention all of this in the beginning of the video, so I am adding this in at the end, which is why I'm not raising my hands and showing you the finished look of what my nails look like. So yes, now let's get into doing the nails. Okay, so first, this is what my nails look like after popping off the other nails that I had on. I'm just going to file them down and make them smooth. So I'm going to do this to every nail just to get rid of any flaking and ridges and all that. So I'll be back when they're all filed down. Okay, so now they're all filed. I'm going to take my buffing thing and I'm going to just buff them out. This actually doesn't really, I don't know, it smooths them more than it buffs them. But I'm going to do this again to every nail just to make sure that everything's smooth and there's no sharp edges on my nails because I guess it doesn't really matter once the tips are on, but I really, I don't know, I don't like it. They catch on things and so I'm gonna do this to every nail and then I'll be back. Now that they're all smoothed out, I'm going to take one of these, I don't know what they're called, like wipey things. <laughs> and I'm gonna take 100%, oh no, this is 91% alcohol basically rubbing alcohol and I'm going to put it on every nail just to get rid of any dust it'll help um, have things adhere to it so that you're not getting you know nail dust in the glue or any of that okay now I'm gonna take the pH prep and this is from Sparkle and, and Company and I'm going to put them on every nail. Okay, so now it's time to glue on the tips, and these are my tips, and I've already chosen all the sizes that I need, and then I have my nail glue. So I'm going to start gluing them on, and you want to keep them pretty close to the edge. You really don't want to cover much of your nail. The more you cover, the easier it is that it's going to pop off. So you want as much of the product as you can get on the nail. So you only want to do, that's how much I do. I only do about that much. So I'm gonna go glue the rest of these on and then I'll be back. Okay, so now all the tips are on. 
Then before I begin shaping or anything, I take my file and I file down right here. As you can see, there's usually always some sharp edges and I just file it down just to smooth it out so that nothing's sticking up. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll be back. Okay, now that all that's done, I'm going to shape and file my nails down to the desired length. And it seems like a lot, but I really don't do that much filing because I really don't keep them that much shorter than this, to be honest. But I just, since these are stilettos and they are triangles and they're already pointed, I just keep filing on either side just to have it stay even, but then the length gets shorter as I file, obviously. So I do want it a little bit shorter than that, but not too, too much shorter. So that's the length that I'm keeping it. So now I'm gonna do them all the rest to match this one. Okay, now my nails are all filed down to the desired length. I'm going to take this wipe again and the alcohol and I'm just going to wipe them all clean just to make sure that all the dust is off because you don't want dust in your dip even though dip is basically dust. Um, you don't want this dust in there. So I'm gonna quickly do that. And then I'm going to put the bond on. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my bond and you're just gonna want to put this on the nail. You don't need to put it on the tip, just the nail. Cause that's really what you're where your base is really needs help adhering to. So I'm gonna put it on all 10 nails. And I'm kinda just doing this quick, sorry if it looks a little sloppy, but yeah. Now I'm gonna take the clear dip and I'm gonna open it up and just put it right here. Then I'm going to take the base coat and what you're going to want to do first when you have tips is you're going to want to put it just right here for the first just to kind of get rid of that harsh line and then you're just going to dip it in. So you're going to do that to all 10 nails. So I'm going to do that to all 10 and then I'm going to come back. Now that's all done. For the clear base, this is my clear, I'm going to actually put the base down all the way down to the cuticle just because I do want this to cover my entire nail because I want it clear, the, the whole first layer to be clear because I like to be able to just file the color off when it's all done. Um, just so that I don't have to actually 
take all my nails off to, oh uh, shoot, just because I don't want to actually take all my nails off to do a new color or design. So I don't want to have to start completely over. And you want to make sure you don't get any of the base on your finger. And if you do, that's why I have that scrapey tool. You're just going to want to scrape the sides. Like scrape it off your finger. But yes, I don't like to start all over again with new tips and all that stuff if I don't have to. I like to keep them on as long as I can because if I have to keep using new tips each time I do a new manicure, I'm going to have to buy them a lot more often. So. Rather than putting on new tips each time, I just kind of do like a fill, a new color. So I'm going to continue doing all these and then I'll be back. Okay. Now, this is a step that I don't really see. Oh, that's still a little wet. I don't really see many people who do dip really do. But I actually like to put on a coat of activator between each layer just to make sure it's really extra hardened. So I'm just going to do that. And I haven't done my left hand yet. I do, I dip one hand, then I put on the activator. And while I'm dipping the other hand, it lets the activator on this hand dry. So now I'm going to do the dip and the activator on my left hand and then I will come back with the color. So now I'm going to use the Rossi Honeymoon Dip and I'm going to use it on four nails and leave the accent nail um, alone because I'm going to use this dip which is a glitter for my accent nail. So now with the color I'm going to want to not put it all the way down to the cuticle, but close to all the way down to the cuticle. But you don't want dip just piling up in your cuticle. Because then it looks weird. So that's not much, that's not much different looking in color. I hope it looks better once there's a top coat on it and a couple layers. I don't know. <sighs> the color looks very sheer. Okay, now I'm going to put on the activator and then I'm going to do this hand and then I'm going to put one more layer on. So before I put the second layer on, I'm going to put this on my accent nail. This is the glitter. This is Jewel Junkie by Sparkle and Company. And this is like a pinky, pinky silvery glitter.
Beautiful. Okay, so now I'm going to put the activator on. And I'm going to try to wipe the glitter off of the bristles so I don't get it back into the bottle. So now I'm going to be doing the second layer of color. And I'm going to, again, now I'm bringing it all the way down to the cuticle because this is my final layer of color. So now I'm going to do that to all the rest. Then I'm going to put on activator and then do my left hand. So now I'm going to do the second layer of glitter. And again, I'm going to go all the way down to the cuticle this time. Then I'm going to put the activator on the glitter and then I'm coming back with a clear coat or a clear, the clear dip on top of the glitter just to seal it in. So now this is the clear just to seal that so it's not rough. Now, it looks like it doesn't look clear right now, but it is. Okay, so off camera, I did go over some of the tips of these nails um, of the color with some more base and color dip just to kind of thicken them a little bit. I do like the tips a little bit thicker for the stiletto nails because they do break easily if they're too thin. So I kind of did that off, off camera because it's a little bit tedious and you know it's a step that you probably won't need to take unless you're doing long stiletto nails like mine. But what I just did was I brushed over just kind of the tip. I dipped it then sort of looked at the um, the thickness and if it needed a little more, brushed it a little more, dipped it, and then did the activator. So it came out like this. Now it does look kind of a little bit lumpy where you can see where it overlaps, but that's okay because I am going to be filing them down. But I need to wait a few minutes for the activator to actually completely harden. So I'm going to wait for that. And yes, these do look funny, but I promise you they won't look like that once the once the top coat and everything is on and once they're filed down. So now that they're completely hardened, I'm going to take my file and I'm just going to file it so that everything on the top of the nail and the sides are all smoothed out. So I'm going to continue to do this because this is a pretty long process 
and then I will be back. I'm going to be adding rhinestones to these nails and putting the gel coat on. So I'll be back to do that. So now I'm gonna take the buffer and I'm gonna just buff them out. take my alcohol and a clean wipe and I'm just going to wipe them down just to get all the excess powder off because you really don't want any powder when you're putting the gel on. So I had to put on another layer of glitter because apparently the clear that I thought was clear, it advertised as clear, isn't really clear. It's not white, but it's not clear. Like you can't see through it. So I had to just put another layer of glitter and just not have it sealed in, but that's all right. So now I'm going to take these rhinestones and I'm going to apply them onto the pink nails. So I'm going to take one of the kind of larger ones and two of the smaller ones. Now I am going to kind of do them one nail at a time. So I'm going to take my lamp and I'm going to plug that in while I'm at it. So I'm going to take my gel and this is by Gelixer and it's a no wipe top coat. And I'm gonna kinda go and do one nail at a time, but I'm going to what am I gonna I'm just gonna go just gonna go over that spot right here. And then I'm gonna put a little bit on the tip of this dotting tool, and then I'm just gonna take one of the big diamonds and put it in the middle. And then I'm gonna take the little diamonds and put them on either side. I apologize for my kids screaming. Again, the quarantine, they're home and yeah, I kind of have to deal with that. So that's what it's gonna look like on all the nails. So I'm going to put it under the lamp. And of course, this outlet doesn't work. Okay, so I put it under the lamp for 60 seconds and I did it off camera because I didn't want to have this moving around when I was trying to move my desk over, but I had to move my desk over to a different outlet. So now I'm going to do all the rest of the pink ones and I'm going to do them off camera, but I'm going to put them on all, obviously all of the pink ones and under the lamp for 60 seconds each, just so that they're secure and they're not gonna move around. And then I'm gonna put the top coat on the whole hand. So. I will so now be back. I'm gonna put on top, top coat. I usually start with the thumb, but I'm gonna start with these four. I have to do the thumb separately because it doesn't dry um, properly when I put my whole hand under. But I'm going to get the whole nail coated. I'm gonna try to get in between those as well. Try not to get it on your finger because this is gel and it will, it, it will be very hard to get off your finger if you get it on your finger. Okay, so there's the first one. Now I'm going to do the rest. And then I usually dry 
my nails for like five minutes each. So I'll do five minutes on the four nails and then five minutes on the thumb. I feel like it just really dries them a lot better than the than the 60 seconds. I feel like that doesn't dry them enough. I feel like it's kind of still tacky after that. So I'm not gonna make you sit here for five minutes and watch me dry them. So let me just get in there. Now I also kind of do the underside like right here. I don't think I remember to do it for that one. It just makes it a little nicer so that it doesn't um so that it doesn't start to peel off. So once I get all this done, oop, I got a little bit on my skin. And then the underside. Now I do do the underside for like two to three minutes as well. But obviously I'm not gonna make you watch that either, but I'm just gonna put it under the lamp. I gotta do it in 60 second intervals. So I'm gonna do 60 seconds five times and then the underside about two or three times. So I'm gonna do this to all the nails and then I will show you what it looks like when everything is finished. So now I'm gonna take the alcohol and I'm just going to Put it on my nails. This gets the like tacky layer after you cure it under the lamp off. There's a tacky layer that sometimes stays on your nails when you cure it. So this gets rid of any tackiness so that nothing sticks to it. They don't get dirty and then it's good to go. And here are the finished nails. What do you guys think? I think I did a good job. This was really fun. And this stuff is really, really nice. I really like it. So if you're interested in purchasing this kit or any other thing from their website, I will provide a link to the kit and I will provide a link to the website in the description box down below so you can purchase anything. As well as I have a 20% discount code that you can use at the checkout to get 20% off your entire order. So that's fun. Um, now this is not like Sparkle and Company. It's not a subscription box. This is you just buy stuff. But they have other stuff too. They have gel stuff. Um, they have a whole bunch of nail stuff. So if you're interested in nails, I would definitely check this website out. Uh, the the prices are really affordable. Like for a pack of, I think it's like six of these, it's only $49.99. Now, this is huge, this size. So six of these for only $50, that's insane. That's really awesome. So they are super affordable. This stuff is really nice. Um, the color is beautiful. I really like that. I was expecting like like what was on the box. I was expecting this like peachy color, but no. Like it's, it is like that, but it's a little subtler. And I really, really like that. I love how these turned out. So yes, that is everything. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and have an awesome day. Bye.